My interest is to make sure that Iran doesn't have nuclear weapons. And your pursuit of nuclear weapons? Stop testing and proliferating ballistic missiles? That's the message to Tehran from the U.S. and Israel. Suspicion and accusation. But what's the reality? This is what we know. Iran has several nuclear sites, all monitored by the International Atomic Energy Agency, the world's nuclear watchdog. The IAEA says those facilities are peaceful and an important part of Iran's strategy to wean itself off gas and oil. World powers aren't really worried about Iran making nuclear energy per se. What they are worried about is Iran's ability to produce and stockpile highly enriched uranium, the stuff that's used to make the bomb. Not to get too deep into the science, but basically if you're making nuclear power, you're enriching uranium. But, and this is important, you're doing it at a much lower level than weapons grade. IAEA inspectors say Iran is keeping those levels low. Its February 2019 report says Iran doesn't have nearly enough uranium to make a bomb. Question is, how quickly could Iran change course? And does it even want to? That's a debate that's been going on for decades. In Iran's 1979 revolution, the new government inherited the country's nuclear program, developed by the deposed Shah with help from the U.S. It also inherited Iran's pledge to ban nuclear weapons under the Non-Proliferation Agreement. At first, the leadership cut the nuclear program altogether, saying it was un-Islamic. By the mid-1980s, the government brought it back. But for what purpose? The official line has always been its nuclear program is for peaceful purposes only. The country's supreme leaders, the Ayatollahs, have always publicly opposed any weapon of mass destruction. As for the rest of the government, moderates tend to be on the side of limited civilian use as well as international cooperation. The conservatives lean more towards defiance and development. In the 1990s, moderate presidents Ali Akbar Hashemi Rafsanjani and Mohammad Khatami encouraged international cooperation and the government allowed IAEA inspections. But the U.S. was suspicious, convinced the energy program was a cover. It pressured countries against doing business with Iran's nuclear industry. In the year 2000, U.S. President Bill Clinton signed a law that allowed sanctions against anyone providing aid to Iran's program. By the mid-2000s, the moderates were losing. The new populist president, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, praised the nuclear program and called for Israel to be wiped off the map. The country expanded its nuclear facilities and relations with IAEA inspectors turned sour. Other countries and the UN started announcing their own sanctions. Talks started and stalled. Things changed when moderate Hassan Rouhani won the presidency in 2013. Two years later, Iran signed on to what's known as the nuclear deal, the same one in place today. The joint comprehensive plan of action was struck between Iran and six world powers, the UK, France, China, Russia, Germany, and perhaps most importantly, the US. Under the deal, Iran agreed to cut the number of centrifuges, the tool used for uranium enrichment, by about two-thirds. It also promised to keep the uranium enrichment levels at 3.67 percent, way lower than the 90 percent needed for weapons grade, and slash its stockpile of low-enriched uranium by 98 percent. In return, international sanctions were lifted. The deal seemed to be working until the U.S. voted in a new president. One of the worst deals I've ever seen is the Iran deal. My administration has already imposed new sanctions on Iran, and I will do more to prevent Iran from ever developing, I mean ever, a nuclear weapon. Donald Trump pulled the U.S. out of the nuclear deal in May 2018 and reimposed sanctions. A year later, Iran made its own move. It said it would let stockpiles build up again and even threatened to resume higher level enrichment of uranium if its European partners don't keep their promises and fail to protect Iran from U.S. sanctions. Barjam has, Barjam pa barjas. Amma on ruye sekke Barjam ra ma emruz nishan midim. Hamun Barjami ke be ma mige dar band 26 va 36 ke dar surat takhalluf taraf mutaqabil 
شما هم می توانید تعهدات خودتون را بکاهید. The US reaction to that more sanctions, more punishment for the people of Iran. All evidence suggests that Iran isn't developing a nuclear weapon right now. But with the future of the deal uncertain, it could still decide it needs one. And how fast could it make a nuclear bomb? Experts seem to agree under current conditions about a year.